Wow, it was so windy last night that the the wind it knocked down some trees. <laughs> and look at all of my um the container I put on the deck. Look. They 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 fell over. I can see like at least two trees uh that fall down and the uh, the tree leaves they they went on the the pavement they told us not to go outside today it's not safe but last night it was very hard for me to sleep with the wind it was so loud and making up so much noise so in Prince Edward Island we get um hurricane weather. In Ontario we don't get this kind of weather. But in PEI they do people over here take it very seriously. So the kind of lifestyle that that I'm aiming to live, it would really benefit um living on the island. Because right now the power is out and it has been out now for I think more than um, eight hours since last night. So I have to take uh, trying to be able to do things without power more seriously. Be able to do it if, if that happens again. And I know it will happen again. I think it's just a part of living on the island. But I'm, I'm, I'm not going outside today because it's not as windy as it was last night, but it's still windy. And the wind is not as loud, but they tell us not to, to go outside unless you really have to. I heard that the power might be out until Wednesday. The power was out since Friday night. We didn't have not even internet, not even data on my phone. The data just came on Saturday uh, night on my phone, but I still don't have Wi-Fi in my home. Hopefully we will get power before Wednesday. I'm crossing my fingers, hoping for that. Any go anyhow, you guys, I'll stay up to date, and I'll talk to you guys another day. Bye.